right, Jeremy. Welcome to the Bing Lounge. Well, thank you. Well, thank you for coming. We appreciate it. Not your first time in Portland. No, thankfully, no. It's not my first yeah, time. Yeah, and you actually have quite the tie to the Northwest as well. You're, you spent some time in Tri-Cities growing up. Yeah, that's where I grew up. So I grew up not actually that far from, from Portland. What was it, four, four or five hours? Sure, like that? yes. Yeah, about that? Yeah, about that. Uh, but now you claim Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, I've lived there for about... 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 years or something, <laughs> something, like, something that. like that. I've been there a long time, long. basically. Yeah. <laughs> Just about. So the new album, Heart Murmurs, congratulations on that. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm glad it's done, you know. Yeah. And so it kind it's of out in the world now. <laughs> everybody can look at it. Isn't it pretty? Ooh. <laughs> uh, and it's <laughs> kind of came out just in time because you just got back from South by Southwest. Yeah, yeah, I did uh, did a week of shows down there. and uh, A week of shows at South oh, by Southwest. What's yeah. that like? Well, uh, I got horribly sunburned, and um, that can happen. Being and, from uh, Minnesota, nearly threw my back out hauling my gear through the uh, the streets <laughs> of Austin. You know? But so, uh, but it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they tell you. At the end, you'll remember this, and it's going to be fun. Yeah, it'll be great. You'll pick up loads of new fans. It'll, it's worth it. Right? Was that your first time at South by? No, I'd been a few times, but I took a few years off, uh, and so it was my first time in, uh, I think, three years. I know. Right on. Yeah. Very cool. So uh, one of my questions as well that I have is that um, this isn't your first album. You also put out an album called The Alcatraz Man. Uh, the Alcatraz Kid, yeah. Oh, the Alcatraz yeah. Kid, excuse yeah, yeah. me. And that was, can you tell the story about the title of that album? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I was working at a, a very kind of like dead-end tech support job where I would work overnights and people would call in with tech problems, you know, because I'm a nerd, so I would help them with that kind of stuff. And uh, we would get constantly crank called by this, like, kid who would just, like, yell and swear at us on the phone, but, like, his connection was, like, really weird, so you could, like, barely understand what he was saying anyway, and it really bothered, like, some of the people. And anytime he would call, I would pick up, and I would just laugh and laugh and laugh, because I thought it was so funny. But um, everybody started calling him the Alcatraz kid, because he sounded like a 12-year-old calling from Alcatraz or something <laughs> like that. Just, that's great. So I stole it, and yeah, that's the name of my first record. So you're at the Star Theater tonight. Yeah. And it's not just you. You have a band as well. Yes. Oh, it's not just me. Yes, my bandmates who are dutifully driving the van and all of the gear. Uh, yes. Jeremy tweeted today about how they're all driving 12 hours, and he gets to roll like a front man and on an airplane with an hour flight from San Francisco. Yeah, I have. I hope I have the appropriate amount of guilt, and I hope my bandmates talk to me by the time. Uh, I think the you're time gonna. They're done with the drive. I think you'll be unloading your own gear once again. I think so. <laughs> I, there's a high possibility of that <laughs> happening. In fact, so your guys is also your your Twitter feed is really fun to follow, by the way. Oh. And uh, I love the fact that "Would You Rather" has become the game in the van during the drive. Yeah, "Would You Rather" is. Uh, I mean, it's as it can be as dark. Or as light or as fun or as horrible as you make it, really. But um, you just tr try to find two things that are very equal, sometimes wonderful things, sometimes terrible things, and try to pit them against each other. Have you had a favorite would you rather question so far that you can also say in front of an audience? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, so much of this stuff is, uh, yeah. <laughs> one of the would you rathers was, um, oh, I mentioned this one on Twitter, but uh, would you rather have all of our van conversations like, known to the outside world or, you know, just walk into a room with a noose hanging in the center of it. Mm. We all chose noose. <laughs> <laughs> but what am I, what, you know, what, like a, an example might be, would you rather be uh, smothered by kittens to death or would you rather uh, be uh, lifted up a mile into the sky by a flock of butterflies and then, and then let go or you then <laughs> fall to your death? That's a rough one. That's his kind of his pretty as they that get. Is, They're that pretty was very horrible most of the time. <laughs> that was very rainbows and unicorn yeah, of you to yeah, say yeah, that yeah. one. <laughs> that was to follow up a particularly dark one. We, we, we like, would you rather be naked or have a clown face all the time? Oh, yeah, there was that one, too. And that actually split the van. Like, some people would be very happy being a clown for the rest of their lives with makeup you could never take off. And about half of the van was like, no, I just live as a nudist somewhere. Well, there you go. I guess. Yeah, I a little bit of the insight for, of the band for Jeremy Messersmith. That's Again. probably way more than you would ever <laughs> want to know about... Oh. So I, um, I just want to wrap things up by asking you about you have performed for President Obama. Yeah, well, I've opened for him, I guess, and actually Joe Biden, too. Once. That's cool. Yeah. Where was that? Uh, Minneapolis, you know, so they have to come around every once in a while and do, like, you know, stump speeches and get the, you know, kind of, like, pitch for the local uh, candidates and stuff. And, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've done a couple. couple so you're the Minneapolis darling that they look to for this. 
Sure. Yeah. yeah let's just go own that. it today. Uh, I'm assuming just there's a long it. list of much more high profile people who said no. But then, you know, they finally got to me and they're like, well, we have this guy with an acoustic guitar and he can fill like 15 minutes. They're like, Don, get him up there. Let's Perfect. do it. All right. Yeah. Great. Well, again, Jeremy Messer Smith is at the Star Theater tonight. The new album is out now called Heart Murmurs. Please give it up for our good friend, Jeremy. Thanks for coming to the Bing Lounge today.